who make stories when the day is through. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Presenting Wordsworth. Jenny and Jackson, working through the night till the rising <laughs> sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Right, come on everyone, time to go home. Here you go, Tori. That's it. Sean, okay, there you go. That's good. Right. Okay. Story makers. Story makers. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Rosetti Wordsworth, magical story maker, here to make stories with you. Hello. Just look at all these leaves. Uh, the children brought them into the library today because they've been reading about autumn. Oh, that's mm. funny. Uh, well, what's funny, Jackson? Well, look, there are muddy footprints all over the library floor. Uh, oh, mm. yeah. <gasps> oh, maybe look a leaf that. monster made them. Look, 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 yeah. Jelly. He's left all his leaves. Uh, oh, no, no, Jackson. These are the children's leaves. Oh. Yeah, because they've been reading about autumn. Uh, and do you know, in autumn time, the leaves on the trees change colour. Yeah, and it starts to get cold and the chilly wind blows. Jackson, does it feel a bit chilly to you? Uh, Yes, it does. And mm. what's that funny noise? I don't know. It sounds a bit ghostly. I don't like it. <laughs> Neither do I. Mm. <gasps> oh, oh, look. The leaves are dancing. Oh, Shelley, I think there's a ghostly leaf monster in the library. Save us, save us. Help us. Hide us from the ghostly leaf yeah, monster. big Monster. Yeah. Yes, yes, look, he left all these big footprints. Yes, yeah, yeah, and he keeps making that noise. No, 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 that's the sound of the autumn wind. I mm. thought you'd like to meet it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it sounds spooky and it feels chilly and I wanted to go away. Oh, all right, whatever you say. Mm. Oh. Oh. Good. Oh, but Rosetti, mm. what about all these muddy footprints? Yeah, there are even more now. Rosetti, mm -hmm. look at your muddy boots. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I think it was me that left those muddy footprints. Yes. <laughs> i better take these boots off. Yes. Mm. Oh, I'm afraid I'm rather mucky. Oh, oh. oh. oh Molly. <laughs> what are we going to do with them all? Mm. <laughs> I know. We, we could put them in the story machine. Mm. Well, not all of them. Well, maybe one or two. Okay. In they go. Now, can you help us? We need you to send us your imagination to make the story machine work. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Here it goes. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's a playbook. And it's called Tree Fairies. The fairy folk who live in the trees, amongst the branches and the leaves, are quite hard to see, believe you me. If you go to the park on an autumn day, the fairies will probably sneak away. They're quite shy, you see. Sometimes they whisper in the leaves or shake the branches of the horse chestnut trees. 
leaving crowds of shiny brown conkers on the ground for us to find. Those fairies are ever so kind. They sit up high in sycamore trees and send down showers of little winged seeds. That swirly, whirly, ever so twirly, dizzily, roundly down, softly without a sound. And if you find acorns under the oak, you can be sure that fairy folk have left them there for us to discover, like seed green treasure. The fairy folk who live in the trees, amongst the branches and the leaves, have friendly faces just like these. Brown conker noses and acorn smiles and yellow leafy hair. When it's time to wander home, we leave the tree treasures on the ground. Food for the animals when winter comes. Hey squirrel! Hey pigeon! We've got a question for you. Are they really fairy folk? Yes, love the deer, but they're ever so shy. Can't you hear them whispering? Goodbye. Oh, uh, Rosetti, hmm. are there really fairies in the trees? Well, I don't know, Jelly. What do you think? Oh, oh I don't know. <laughs> Did you see any, oh, Rosetti? Not oh. exactly, oh. but somebody put leaves in my boots. Yes. And a flurry of these came around me. Oh, oh, oh that, that might, might have, have been, been the fairies. fairies. Yeah. Yeah. And then something hard and sharp landed on my head. But what was oh. that? Well, I've saved some to show you. Oh, oh. Where are they? They're in my pocket. Would you like to get them out? Oh, oh. oh no, no, I don't want to. You do it, Jackson. Oh, OK. Uh, oh, um, uh, are they very sharp? <laughs> Or well, more sort of prickly, really. Oh, prickly, no, I don't want to no. touch prickly things. All right, then, I'll do it. Oh, but first, hmm, prickle, prickle, that rhymes with... Oh, um... Prickle, prickle, prickle. Prickle, prickle, prickle. Right, come on, hands. I've got a dangerous mission for you to rescue something prickly from my pocket. <clears throat> oh... Ta da too spiky. I don't want to play with those. <laughs> no, I, I don't think I want to, to play with them. No. And, and why don't we use one of them to make a story? Oh, yeah. yeah good idea. Yes. I think I'll use uh, this one. Oh, good right. idea. Come on, Jenny. Right. Are you ready to make a spiky story? Mm -hmm. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine, Imagine. Imagine a story. I wonder what it's going to be. It's a sniff and word story. And it's called Bonkers Conkers. Sniff and Wag are friends. When the day ends and the sky grows dark, they sneak into the park through a hole in the fence. Autumn has come. The trees are turning from green to browny gold. Sniff and Wag are out for a stroll tonight when something spiky falls from the sky. <gasps> what was that? It looks like a tiny green hedgehog. The two dogs sniff around and find lots more scattered on the ground. Wow, spiky green balls. I'm going to collect some. Yowie! They're too pretty for me. I want to collect shiny stones instead, says Wag. I can buy more than you, Wag, Sniff says. Right, let's have a race. 
Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please for the fastest dogs you ever did see. On your mark, smuts. One, two, three, go! And they're off. Snaffling and snuffling, rustling and rooting. Look at them go! A sniff has one, two, three, four, five at least. And Wag has... One. Hold on, what's going on? Wag stones are slithering off. Quick, Wag, bring them back. That's better. Whoops. They're slithering off again. There's something funny about my shiny stones. They have slimy bodies and bobbly feelers. Do you think that's right? Hey, you two clowns, stop messing around. We're snails, not stones. Now leave us alone. The snails sound quite cross. Sniff and wag, watch them slither off. Wag is sad because Sniff has lots of spiky balls and she has no shiny stones at all. Don't worry, I'll share. But my spiky balls are acting funny. Look! One splits open and a pair of eyes stare at them. Oh, who are you? whispers Wag. Conkers, says one. And we're going to sing a song. Oi, lads, get your jackets off. We're on! We're bonkers, conkers, shiny round and brown. We're very fond of fashion and rolling around. Oi. And with that, the conkers roll off. Wait! But it's too late. They've gone. All this collecting is making my head spin, Wag yawns. Come on, little Wag, Bart Sniff. Let's go home. Good night. Sleep tight, my little friends. Tomorrow we will play again. <laughs> We're bonkers, conkers, shiny round and brown. We're very fond of bashing and rolling around. <laughs> uh, uh, Rosetti, mm. do you think there's a shiny brown conker in your spiky shell? Oh, I expect mm. so. Shall we have a look? Oh, yes, please. Mm. Oh, well, what's the magic word? Um, jelly beans. <gasps> oh, mm. mm, ta da! And it is shiny. Jelly, mm. come and look at my autumn creature. Mm. Oh, OK. Mm. <laughs> I used one of the fur cones that the children brought in. Mm. Oh, he's lovely, Jackson. Mm, thank you. Mm. But I think he needs a tail. Oh, yes, mm. a bushy tail. Yeah, what shall I use? Uh, uh, oh, what about those leaves? Oh, oh, yes, they yeah. would be good for a tail. Yes. Mm. I'll just put some sticky, sticky, sticky on it. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, there we go, stick it down. Mm. Oh, that's a very bushy tail. <laughs> Look there, mm. he's finished. Oh, yes. Uh, do you want to show Rosetti? Oh, yes, I think she'll like it. Yes. Uh, Rosetti! <laughs> Rosetti, <laughs> come and see Jackson's autonomous creature. Oh, oh he's gorgeous. Mm. I like his bushy tail. Oh, yes, that was my idea. <laughs> Should we put him in the story machine? Oh, uh, I'll ask him. Yeah. Uh, would you like to go in the story machine? <laughs> and I said yes. Mm. Well, then come with me, my little friend. Yes, yeah. go. Bye-bye. <laughs> In you go. Are you ready to help? Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. It's a... <laughs> a blue cow story. And it's called... Blue Cow and the Squirrels. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow saw a squirrel scamper across her field. I wonder what it's like to be a squirrel. She's off again, said the other cows.
So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to where the squirrels live. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a large oak tree. Then they arrived. Blue Cow found herself beside an enormous pile of acorns. Mooer! I wonder what these are doing here, said Blue Cow, taking a close look at the pile. Suddenly, a very cross-looking squirrel appeared. Hey, don't you touch my acorns, he shouted. Trespassers will be prosecuted. But uh, I was... The squirrel didn't give Blue Cow a chance to answer. Reinforcements, he shouted. Thief! Thief! Mooer! Wobbled Blue Cow. Have I done something wrong? Just then, lots of other squirrels appeared and surrounded Blue Cow. Oh dear, said Blue Cow. Why are you all so angry? I haven't come to steal your acorns. I'm Blue Cow. I'm just visiting. Oh, just visiting, said the squirrel, looking much less ferocious. But why didn't you say so before? I'm Terry, by the way. At ease, oh, Terry sorry, shouted to the other squirrels, who all gave Blue Cow a big welcoming smile. Come and meet the wife, Blue Cow. And he disappeared through a hole in the tree trunk. Ooh, I'm not sure I can fit, worried Blue Cow. Yes, you can, said the other squirrels, giving her a push. Ah! Blue Cow found herself in the coziest den ever. Meet Una, my wife, and Niall and Connor, our sons. This is our winter nest. Snug, isn't it? Moo, yes, very cosy, replied Blue Cow, snuggling into a chair. You mustn't mind my husband, said Marge, offering Blue Cow a plate of fresh acorns. We get all sorts trying to steal our acorns at this time of year. Oh, I'm not surprised, said Blue Cow, her mouth full of acorns. They really are quite delicious. <laughs> You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been in the squirrel's den. Everyone knows that cows can't fit into squirrel's dens. But we know they can, don't we? Oh, <laughs> Blue Cow had a lovely time eating acorns at the squirrel's house, didn't she? <laughs> yes, she did. Mm. But remember... Acorns are only delicious for animals to eat, not us. Mm, yeah, it's okay though, because ice cream's my favourite. And I like donuts the best. Yeah. <laughs> and I like. Oh, look! Oh. The sun is unsleeping its beams. Mm. Yeah. All story makers must be hidden away before it wakes. The mm -hmm. children will be here soon. Yes, my sweeties, dawn is upon us, the morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. Bye-bye. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories of fun. Bye-bye, story makers. Come and make some more stories soon.